Hey everyone, today I am back doing another video. This video is going to be my updated what's on my phone. Now I have done a couple of these videos in the past. I will link those down in the description box if you want to go ahead and check those out. But I believe this is my first what's on my phone video using my Galaxy S5. Uh, this phone I got about uh, a little over a year ago, and if you remember previously, I had the Galaxy S3, so I just updated to the S5 when I switched phone carriers and everything like that. So this is what the S5 looks like. I have a case on it right now. It's just my Starbucks case that uh, my sister got for me for Christmas uh, this past year, or Christmas 2015. <laughs> And I absolutely love this phone case. But um, just to show you the phone, I'll take it out of the phone case just so you can get a better look at it. So this is what it looks like. That's how thin it is or thick. And then this is just what the back looks like. If you can see that. I absolutely love this phone. I loved my S3 as well, but... Um, I just thought since I was switching carriers that it was time to upgrade, so that's why I upgraded to the S5 and I absolutely love it. So yeah, I'll just go ahead and put this back in here and then I will show you everything that I have on my phone. All right, so this is just my lock screen. I just have um, donuts for the background and then uh, I just have my little um, lock screen, the little like pattern or whatever it's called. Um, up here you have the time and the date and then down here you have like a little phone. It's like an emergency phone. Yeah that's just what my lock screen looks like. So now I will go ahead and unlock my phone so you can see what my other home screens look like. So here is what my main home screen looks like. Um, the background and all the apps that I use. All of the um, like the app covers and then the background is all from uh, an app. It's called Coco or something like that. I'll just like put it right here so you can see like how it's spelled and everything like that. And I'll, I will also show you what the app looks like um, once we get into the other apps that I have. But that's where I get all of my little um, icon pictures and my backgrounds. And that's also where I got the donut background as well that I had for my lock screen. And so as you can see, my background and all of the icons um, up here are Elves and Wonderland theme, which I absolutely love. And then the apps I have down here, which are kind of like my main um, apps, I guess you could say. They are all uh, Disney themed, as you can see. I will go ahead and zoom in so you can see everything better and I can show you all the apps that I do have on my home screen. But those are also from the same um, Coco Pa app or whatever you want to call it. And also up here it has a little drop down menu, which you can just pull down and it has like all these little options up here as you can see so like it has like wi-fi and location screen rotation um bluetooth and everything like that and then it also has the brightness up here as well so you can obviously change the brightness on your phone and then it just has little buttons up here like a settings and whatever this button is oh yeah that just kind of drops down all of the options and then this little settings button takes you right to um the phone settings and then this you can kind of pick like on um, which of these options you want on like the main home screen like when you pull it down if that makes any sense yeah that's just what that little drop down menu looks like now i will go ahead and zoom in so you can see everything up close all right so that's this is what everything looks like up close so you can just see it a little bit better i will just start up up here so the first app i have right here is color note which i know you guys have seen before my previous what's on my phone videos and my favorite phone app videos and everything like that this is where i keep like all of my notes and everything like that and as you will see in the next home screen uh it allows you to put widgets on your home screen like little sticky notes so you can see um maybe like whatever list you have like maybe your grocery list or reminders or anything like that and again I will show you that when we go to the next home screen and so yeah I absolutely love this app the next app I have is just my email app um nothing too fancy about that then I also have my Facebook app in my gallery which I have all my pictures in all right so the next row I have my Gmail which is basically what I use for um school because our school emails are through Gmail so that's basically what I use that for and then um this little email up here that's what I use for like my um personal email and then I also have my Instagram my Facebook messenger and then my files um Obviously my files is just showing all the files that I have on my phone. I just like to kind of have that handy. The next row, I just have pages manager, which is the Facebook um, page. I use this for my 
uh, YouTube Facebook page and also my Etsy um, Facebook page. I just kind of like to keep this handy because um, mostly when it comes to replying to messages because I can get to it through my uh, Facebook app, my personal uh, Facebook app, I guess you could say, but you can't reply to messages on that, which doesn't make any sense. So that's why I downloaded this. It's just super handy, especially for my Etsy shop. I will get a lot of messages um, through my Facebook page. So uh, it's just easy to be able to reply to your guys' messages if you message me either on my Etsy Facebook or my YouTube Facebook. And um, it's just a lot more convenient so I don't have to go and get on a computer or something like that. And then I also have the Play Store, which is where I download all my apps. I have Quizlet. It's like an app or a site that helps you like study. You can create your own note cards and you can just study right from those. And it has like games you can play and things like that. I just really like to use that when it comes to studying. And then I have my Snapchat and then the last two um, apps I have down here are my Twitter and Vine. And also if you're interested in any of the social, my social networking accounts, all of those that I have available for you guys are listed in the description box under all of my videos. So just in case you were wondering if you wanted to follow me on anything like my Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, anything like that, uh, all of those are in the description box down below. And then all of my icons down here, I just have my messages, which are just my text messages. I have my contacts and that's just how I get to my phone because for some reason my actual like phone icon, like it like doesn't accept any icon pictures. Like whenever I try to change it to one of these, like it just never works. I don't know. So that's why I just use the contact one. And then I have Chrome, which is just Google Chrome. And then I have my settings. And then of course I have this little thing right here which just shows you all of the apps that I have on my phone. So yeah, I just zoomed out so you could see everything. So this little app, uh, one down here, this just shows you all of the apps that I have on my phone as you can see that. So yeah, that is everything that I have on my main home screen. So now I will go ahead and go to my next home screen. And this is my next home screen. And these are all the little sticky note widgets from the color note app I was just talking about. And I just really like to use these because I just think they're super handy. Um, the one up here that I'm covering with my hand is my reminders sticky note. And I'm just covering it up because I have people's phone numbers in there. So yeah, just kind of keeping everything private. <laughs> and then over here I have all of my YouTube videos. So all the ideas I have and everything like that. And then the sticky notes that I have right here, I have my what to pack for the weekend because as you guys know, I usually go to my dad's or Luke's on the weekend. So I just like to make lists or I'll forget everything. So that's why I like to make a list of everything to pack. I have my passwords, finances, just keeping track of um, stuff that I earned from Etsy. And then over here, I just have what to buy. So anything I need to buy from the grocery store or maybe anything online. And then the last sticky note I have down here are my Etsy uh, phone case ideas. I have a couple of just my own phone case ideas that I want to make for my Etsy shop, but most of them are just um, custom cases that people requested. So I'll just keep in there um, who requested it and then also uh, like what phone case theme or anything like that they requested. And that just kind of helps me keep track of everything because I always have messages coming in uh, to my Etsy, my Facebook, Instagram, everything, everywhere. So this just kind of helps me um, keep organized when it comes to my Etsy shop. And then these little things down here, I just have my flashlight. And then these two folders that I have right here, I have my extra apps and then my games. So everything that I have in here are my antivirus app, you know, just to keep um, viruses off my phone, keep my phone clean, everything like that. I have my calculator, my clock, and then this is the app I was talking about where I get my icon covers and my backgrounds from. It's the Coco Pa. See, I don't know how else you would like pronounce that, but that just does not sound right at all. But um, yeah, this is what it looks like if you were interested in checking that out. And then I also have my Etsy and my sell on Etsy app. This Etsy app is just like the main um, Etsy app, I guess you could say. And then this one over here is more geared to if you have an actual Etsy shop. It's just kind of a lot more convenient, kind of like what I was talking about between like the Facebook and then the Facebook page manager app. This is just a lot more convenient to use um, to reply to people's messages to kind of manage my Etsy shop compared to using this app over here. And then to go down more, I have my iHeartRadio app, this little layout, um, app which is basically used for pictures putting them on instagram or whatever and it kind of has like collages and other editing um capabilities things like that this one i'm covering up with my thumb is just my banking app and then the remaining apps that i have in this little extra um 
folder is the scheduling app. This is what I use for work to get um, my schedule for each day, each week, things like that. I have my Starbucks app. I have my voicemail app, obviously, to get to my voicemails. And then I have YouTube and Zedg. Zedg is where you can like download wallpapers, you can download ringtones, notifications, things like that. I just really like this app because you can find so many different ringtones and notifications on there, so that's why I like to have this app in here. And then for my game folder, this is all the games that I have in here. So to start at the top, I have Bubble Witch 2, which is basically just um, popping bubbles. <laughs> I don't really know how else to describe it, but you just kind of match up the color with the bubbles, if that makes any sense. And then when you get like three of the same colors, it, those like bubbles disappear and you kind of have to like get rid of all the bubbles and you only have a certain amount of moves and other obstacles, things like that. Most of these apps, um, these games I've had in either like a favorites video or a favorite phone apps video. So um, a lot of these you'll probably recognize. And then this one I have Bingo Heaven, which is just bingo. Uh, I have Candy Crush Saga, Candy Crush Soda, and then Cookie Jam. These three are basically all the same thing. And I know I've talked about those um, in previous videos. So they're basically all the same thing. I just really like each one of them. So that's why I have uh, all three of them. This one and this DCC, that's actually like a crossword game. I haven't really played that that much and I honestly think I'm gonna get rid of it because I just don't really play it that often. This one right here is episode I have mentioned in um, one of my recent uh, monthly favorite videos. I absolutely love this app. I haven't played it in a long time because I just haven't had time to play any of my games on my phone. But this one is just basically, it's not a lot to it. It's basically just kind of following a story and you play as a character and you can make like your own decisions. Um, yeah, I know I'm terrible at explaining things, but I just really like it and I really enjoy playing it. And then these three apps right here kind of go together. I have Hanging with Friends, Words with Friends, and then um, this word free streak is like, it used to be called like Scramble with Friends or Scrabble with Friends. I don't really remember, but um, they basically are kind of all the same. I know Words with Friends is probably the most popular. I don't really play these as often anymore, but I still enjoy them every once in a while, so that's why I keep them on here. Hanging with Friends is just Hangman. Words with Friends is kind of like Scrabble. And then um, this Words Free or Word Streak Free game is basically you have like a little box with a bunch of letters in it and you basically have to make as many words as you can from those letters that um, are given to you and you play against people and whoever gets like the most words wins. And then I also have Temple Run, Temple Run 2, which I love those games. And then I have Trivia Crack, which I'm sure a lot of you guys have heard of as well. So those are all of the games that I have. All right, so that's everything that I have on my second home screen. Now I'm gonna go over to my third home screen. And on this home screen, I just have three different widgets. This top one up here is just um, my weather widget. See, I just like to keep this up here because it's just super handy to have it right there. This um, little um, widget in the middle is for my Etsy shop. I'll kind of zoom in a little bit so you can see it. So this little widget is for my Etsy shop. And as you can see, it just shows you um, everything for this month. So my views, favorites, orders, and revenue, or how much money I have made from those orders. And I don't use this widget too much. I just thought it was kind of cool. So I just kind of have it on my home screen. And then the last widget I have is my little music app where I have um, all my music. So yeah. So I have all my music. I have like over 2,000 songs or 3,000 songs or something like that crazy. So that's everything I have on my third home screen. And then my fourth and last home screen is just my big calendar widget. Uh, and it obviously just shows the whole month. And then these little arrows up here, you can just click them to go to like different months. Yeah, you can like click on the day and you can make like a little event or reminder, anything like that. And then you can save it obviously. And then as you can see, I have a few um, different little events. And I believe that's pretty much it. That's everything that I have on my phone. This is what my phone looks like in my phone case. So yeah, I really hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. And also again, make sure to check down in the description box if you're curious about any of my other uh, previous what's on my phone videos and also any of my social networking sites you're interested in. I believe I do have my Facebook page, my Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, Tumblr, and Vine in the description box. 
and yeah so go ahead and check those out in the description box if you haven't already so yeah again i hope you all really enjoyed this video i'm gonna get going for now but i will talk to you all very soon in my next video bye everyone